All right, here we go with the test flight of the Dytone GTR 349. And what I am going to test out first is with a 850 milliamp Tattoo 3S battery. So let's go ahead and check it out. Welcome to OpenTX. All right, all right, we are good to go. Set the timer and let's go ahead and check it out. I've done a hover test in the garage and a little bit in the backyard at night. So this is just about our maiden flight with this Dytone GT R349 and seems to be pretty decent with a 3S. Pretty smooth. Okay, a little bit of a punch. Okay, let me punch one more time. I think that's pretty decent of a punch for a 3S battery on this one. Now this one is rated 4S, so we'll check it out with the 4S as well. But man. Oh, it's got tons of power with the 3S. Oh yeah, it's got nice power with the 3S, guys. Very, very nice. All right, let's do another punch out one more time. Stand still, punch out. Oh yeah, it's got tons of power. You can do all kinds of maneuvers with just one throttle punch there, man. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna check out acro mode real quick. Oh, it feels real good in acro too. Very stable. Oh, she is nice. All right, let me go ahead and bring it down and check it out with some FPV with another 3S. Nice. All right, here we go with our first FPV flight with the Diatone GT-R349. Let me go into the profiles here and we are in profile one. And this is the default PIDs that it comes with. So I'm flying with the default PIDs and let's go to the features and go into the tramp protocol and i have it set to f1 5740 and at 200 milliwatts all right so let's go back and you are able to change your channels One. your bands and the power output right from your osd menu so very nice all right so let's go ahead and arm the motors let me Reset my timer and check it out. What I have is another 3S battery and this time it's a 850 milliamp Infinity Graphene. I believe it's 80C. All right. Okay, so far it is looking really nice. The video is awesome. And I got a FR Sky XM Plus. So this thing will have the distance too. Look at that. The RSSI is just crazy good, even though I'm going pretty far away. All right. And the video is giving me a little bit of snow because the VTX antenna is just laid right on top of the canopy and it's one of those dipole antennas so when it's coming towards you and when it's going away from you it is not the very best but when you're on a profile you should be very good to go all right so let's go ahead and check it out do a little punch and the tune is really nice 
and this thing has tons of power with the 3S. There's a little bit of a redirection, kind of like the battery is too heavy kind of feel. But as far as the power is concerned, it has more than enough power. Very nice. It could be retuned just a little bit to get it more locked in, but it is flying really One smooth. Nice. So it does kind of wave a little bit to the left and to the right after the maneuver like that. And I'm probably doing it with my throttle stick. I'm kind of yawing a little bit as I'm throttling up too as well. So. Very nice. Five, four, three, two, one, time. one elapsed. Tons of power with the three S. Oh yeah, very nice. So we're getting a pretty decent amount of flight time too. Look at that. I've been already flying for three minutes and 40 some seconds and I still got tons of battery life left. Nice. Okay, slowly getting down. A little bit of snow, like I said, going away from you, but on a profile, you are able to get good video at 200 milliwatts. It comes by default at 25 milliwatts. And I try to change it with the OSD menu and it would not change to 200. So what I did was I pressed the, that one button on the VTX and powered up the quadcopter at the same time. And that kind of automatically switched the VTX power output to 200 milliwatts. So I was good to go now. So there you go. Once you do that, I guess you can go ahead and start switching power output from your Tramp Protocol OSD menu from the Better Flight OSD with your transmitter. So there we go. Our first flight with the Diatone GT. R349 and it is a good one and the tune that comes out right out of the box is very smooth I think maybe you might want to up the I values just a little bit to get it more locked in a little bit but all in all very nice and smooth flyer with tons of power with a 3s nice all right, here we go once again with the Diatone GT R349. This time we're going to check it out with the 4S battery. I got a 650 milliamp Tattoo 4S battery. And on that FPV flight, I noticed after I landed um, that little zip tie that's holding the VTX antenna down. And the, you notice the canopy it gets gradually thinner towards the tail. So it starts to get unloosened and vibrates and the uh, zip tie starts to move back and everything becomes loose so I put a little piece of tape to hold the zip tie from moving back I could actually put a zip tie through that little VTX hole on the canopy and stand up the VTX straight up uh, but I'm just gonna test it out this way anyway so uh, if you do that then when you crash and you go upside down on it you might whip out the or break off the 
dipole antenna so I'm just gonna leave it just the way it is and test it out just the way it is like that so you might want to secure that uh, dipole antenna a little bit better than how it was shipped out all right so let's go ahead and power it up all right so we are powered up and we're gonna check it out with the 4s so let's go and see what kind of power we're going to get with the 4s Yeah, definitely a lot more power. With a 4S for sure. Man, this thing is a rocket on 4S. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Lots of power. Let's do a standalone punch out here. Awesome punch out. And you know what? I don't hear any flutter. Just a tiny bit, but I don't think that's going to amount to anything on the video. I hope not. One more punch out. Oh yeah, this thing is a rocket, guys. Holy cow. <laughs> Sounds like a angry cat, doesn't it? I lost sight of it because of the sun, but I kept my eyes open. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and land this thing. Let me do a little quick couple of flips with the 4S. Oh yeah, you got tons of power to catch yourself from a fall. There's no power issues at all, even with the 3S. But with the 4S, this thing is just awesome. Got all kinds of hang time now. All right, so let's go ahead and bring it in. And test it out with another 4S and with some FPV goggles. All right, here we go with the 4S battery. I got a 650 milliamp 4S tattoo. Let's go and check it out with the 4S. Let's see if there's any prop wash. Ooh, lots of power. Nice. Ooh, battery drain on this one. This is not a very good battery that I have. I've flown this battery lots of times already, so we're not going to get the actual, actual flight time as if it was a brand new battery, but we're checking it out anyways. And it is providing enough flight time. Nice. Very nice with the 4S. Like I said, you could actually lock it in a little bit better. But so far, the tune that it came with right out of the box is not giving me any prop wash at all. So that is a good thing. But you lose a little bit of authority, I think, because of the low values. Very nice. Very, very nice with the 4S. You can fly it with the 3S and you can fly it with the 4S. I think uh, you might want to stand up that VTX antenna so you get better video without any snow when you're going away from yourself and when you're coming towards yourself. So that is the only thing that I would change on this quadcopter. It is perfect right out of the box. 
to fly around. 20 seconds. So not bad at all. I think this quadcopter is an awesome quadcopter. Wow. Eight. Nowadays, all the quadcopters that are coming out is just freaking awesome. I think I'm going to kill this battery, so let me go ahead and bring it in for a landing. It is a fun little quadcopter to fly. Wow, very nice. There's the breeze taking it away. So a little bit of a breeze. I think maybe right now I, I'm feeling about a good seven miles per hour breeze. It has no problem. Doesn't even feel it. Nice. There you go, guys. The flight test with the 4S battery on the Dytone GTR 349.